so let's just talk about the create selector so create selector is very powerful tool and it is designed to create memoized selectors for the redux application so the memoization ensures that the derived data is recalculated when the source data changes and by doing that we can optimize the performance of our application so here we have simply created one counter so here is our counter application we can increase the count we can decrease the count and also we can increment the count by the custom value now also we wanted to add another function so we wanted to show if the count value is order even so right here we can use one p tag and here we can show if the count value is odd or even now while doing that we wanted to optimize the code using the create selector because we only wanted to run that calculation of checking odd or even only when the count value changes so here inside the counter feature we're gonna create another file and we're gonna call this selector.js now to use the create selector we need to install one package so we need to install reselect package from the npm and once done with the installation now we have to import that create selector from the reselect so first of all we're gonna create one function select counter this will take the state of our application and it will return the count value so state dot counter dot count now we're gonna use the create selector so the create selector takes two parameter first of all it takes one array of the selector so here we're gonna use the select counter and as a second parameter it takes one function here inside we can write the logic so this will take the count value and here we can perform the expensive calculation so for now we're just simply calculating if the count value is odd or even so count module 2 if that is equal to 0 then we're gonna return true which signifies that the count value is even and then we have to export that so export const select is even so with the create selector we are basically saying that whenever this selector value changes that means the count value changes then only we are going to run this expensive calculation otherwise we are not going to perform this expensive calculation which will optimize the performance of our application so as a first parameter inside the array we can pass multiple selector and whenever any of the selector value changes then only we can run this expensive calculation to improve the performance now we have to import this inside this counter so here we're gonna import select is even from the selector and now we're gonna use the use selector and we're gonna pass the select is even and this will return us the boolean value is even now we can simply use that boolean value is even so if the count value is even then we're gonna print the string even otherwise the string odd now here if we refresh so now if we increase the count it is also showing if the count value is even or odd so this way we can use the create selector and here we can specify whenever a particular selector value changes then only we can run our expensive calculation and this way we can memoize the selector and we can greatly improve the performance of our application so that's it for the video see you in the next one take care